Hey guys, I'm SLTPW and welcome back to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install shaders from Minecraft. Hey guys, welcome back. I am ISLTPW and today we are going to show you how to download and install shaders from Minecraft. So if you're not exactly too sure what shaders are, as you can see the sun in the background here is circular, you can see the rays coming through the trees and you can see the water has a completely different effect. So this is what shaders are, makes Minecraft look a hell of a lot better and a lot more beautiful and just gives it an awesome looking realistic feel. This can really enhance your whole Minecraft experience by having shaders installed and it's not as difficult as you may think to download and install. What I will say first is you will definitely need to have Forge installed and Optifine installed. If you haven't got either of these you will need to install Forge and Optifine for Minecraft. I've done tutorials for these already so I will leave links in the description of this video down below so you can go check out those videos and see how you can install Forge and install Optifine for Minecraft. But guys before we get into that it would be awesome if you left a like in this video and if you're new in the channel and you find these tutorials really useful and you're enjoying my mod showcases or my live streams of Hypixel Bed Wars then why not hit that subscribe button. Bing! Okay so let's get straight into it. How do we download and install shaders well first off i'm going to go in here and i'm going to disable these shaders here and you do that by just going to your video settings and when you've optifine installed you've got this shaders option as you can see i have a number of shaders installed here so i'm just going to turn this one off and then i'm going to go into my minecraft folder and then i'm going to delete silders vibrant shaders 1.163 from the folder so now you can see that the shaders are turned off minecraft looks uh, normal again uh, back to vanilla minecraft so I'm now into my Minecraft folder. If you're not too sure how to get into your Minecraft folder, when you go into your file tab up here, just type in percentage app data, and it should come up as an auto string here, but it's app data, percentage again, forward slash dot Minecraft. And that will bring you into your Minecraft folder. And in here you should have a folder that says shader packs. In my shader packs folder here, I'm going to delete this Silders Vibrant Shaders here by right clicking and pressing delete. And again, just on this text document here. So we've now deleted the shader from the folder. So I'm doing this for Minecraft 1.12.2. And the next thing we need to do is in Google, we're going to search for shaders. And the website that I like to use is 9minecraft.net and we're simply just going to click on this here and I'm looking for Silders. Silders shader mod here for 1.12.2 and 1.11.2. I don't even know if this is the same one as I was using but we're going to go with this anyway. It does give you options of what uh, this shader mod can, pack can do but I'm going to do a mod showcase on this shader pack and other shader packs next Monday in my mod showcase Monday. So if you want to get a full mod showcase on shaders then hold out for that video next Monday. And it's just going to scroll down to the bottom here. It's telling you it requires Minecraft Forge and Optifine HD. The GLSL shaders mod is no longer required because Optifine enables you to install shaders. So you just need Optifine HD and Minecraft Forge. You've also got a couple of options here for shaders light, shaders medium and shaders high and shaders high motion blur, shaders extreme and shaders extreme volumetric lighting. And it's given you a rough frames per second for each of these depending on a GTX 960 at 1080p. I usually go for high on my PC, but you may find that that drops down your frames per second quite considerably. If you want, you can also go for a light or medium version, but I think high is a happy medium here. So I'm just going to click on the download button. And if it does pop into an ad, just hit back page and click on download again. And as you can see here, it's downloading here. And I'm just going to drag this onto my desktop over here. And with the shaders folder open again, I'm just going to drag this in here, just like so. You don't need to unzip it, you just drag it and drop it into your folder. And once that's been dropped into the folder, you just open up Minecraft again. You don't need to restart it. Go into your options, go into your video settings and go into shaders. 
and you can see that the cylinders vibrant shaders 1.163 is back in here so we're just going to click on this it takes about 10 to 20 seconds for it to activate and that's now activated i'm going to press done and done and back to the game and here you can see the shaders have been installed in all of their beauty Guys, that's as simple as it is to install shaders in Minecraft. Very simple, not complicated as you may think. It's literally download the file, put the shader file into your shaders pack folder in Minecraft and you start it up and click on the file in your video settings. So guys, that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. another very simple tutorial from ISIL TPW. We don't like to do complicated tutorials here, but guys, I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then make sure to leave a like in this video. And as I said, if you're new in the channel, then why not hit that subscribe button? That would be awesome. And we'll see you for the Mod Showcase of Shader Packs next Monday and our Mod Showcase Monday. I am TPW, and thank you for watching this. Bye!